Where in public have you been touched in this pleasure zone? Restaurants. Interesting. Do friends touch this part of you? Um, I mean, yeah, occasionally. I mean, really? They touch, okay. Hello. Hi. I'm Sebastian. I'm Woody. And I am a comedian and a stripper. I am a certified sex therapist. So you know a lot about sex? Yeah. Do you know what you're guessing today? I'm gonna match the pleasure zone with the person. What's a pleasure zone? Pleasure zone, in an erogenous zone, you can pretty much use them interchangeably. What are your pleasure zones? I feel like my pleasure zone is my mouth. The abdomen. The backs of my legs. You know, just like right where that little cheek makes that little leg, that's nice for me. Mm. This video is sponsored by Lilo. And Lilo? that is one of their toys. I have a lot of Lilo toys at home. The Lilo Dot is a pinpoint clitoral stimulator that allows for endless multiple orgasms using Lilo's infinite loop technology. This is a self-pleasure moment. You can really get some good range of motion up in here, but I'm sure you could use this with a partner as well, like every good Lilo toy. You can use that as a prop today, obviously with people consenting. Okay. We're gonna bring in six people. Here are your options. <gasps> oh my God. Nipples, chest, totally common. Brain. Oh, that's cute. Behind the ear, fingertips. That's interesting. Are you ready to meet the line? Yeah. All right. Are you Tell it. Wow, it's a babe parade. <laughs> What's popping? I'm stressed out now. Why? It's very intimidating. Hello, everyone. I'm Sebastian, and I'm a little nervous though because it was. Um, it's all ladies. I'm usually um, really better with men. But let's explore. You know what I mean? Because I'm ready to learn some shit. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Can I give you a high five? Thank you. How do you relate to your body today? I genuinely feel good about my body. I'm pregnant. I feel super sexy and sexual when I'm pregnant. All right, pregnant. How has being pregnant changed how you like to be touched? Oh, I'm like cornier in general. So nipples are a really common erogenous zone. And three days of nipple stimulation, and you can induce labor. Oh, yeah. No, that's definitely yes. a thing. Hey, fingertips. How's it feeling? <laughs> May I try the back of your body? Yes, you may. Okay, thank you. Also, this is like getting a back massage. This feels so good. I'm like really. So nice. Oh my God. Okay, okay. That's the response <laughs> that I was expecting. So I'm gonna say like, is your lower back an erogenous zone for you? I mean, it could be, but that's not it. Okay. I will say fingertips. Uh, that is not correct. Damn. Could you stimulate this area in public without getting arrested for like indecent exposure? Yeah, anything's possible. Okay. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm gonna say nipples. The answer is nipples. Huh? Why, why that one? Honestly, like having two fucking clitorises on my chest. Yes. Like, Can you have an orgasm without genital stimulation? Just, oh, ni just nipple stimulation? Just nipple That's stimulation. really cool. That's really rare. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my love. You seem kind of timid and shy. A little bit. That's yeah. what people think of me, I think. Um, okay, so how do you feel about anal? <laughs> um. <laughs> The area you picked, has this always been something you enjoyed having touched? Um, I'd say growing up, it was like one of my like biggest insecurities. Interesting. Why do you think it's an insecurity? I feel like it's a common insecurity for like a lot of young girls. Uh-huh. Toy test, may yeah. I? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is nice. I like exploring. Oh. oh! That's a good spot. But your reaction made me feel like that was a new spot. Um, <laughs> great, okay. Um, I'm gonna say <laughs> behind your ears. It's wrong. It's wrong, okay, I love, I love learning. I'm gonna go with upper spine. Yeah. You're incorrect. I'm gonna guess stomach. You are correct. Stomach, yes, so yes. I, yeah. When you said it was common insecurity for women, I was like, I know mm -hmm. all, and all about that, yeah. Yeah, so I have these waist <gasps> beads that kind of like help me, um, I guess, battle my insecurity with my stomach. Wow. It's also like for body adornment. And the beads, is it the stimulation of physically the beads or the physical reminder that like you're in touch with your stomach? It's the reminder that I'm in touch with my stomach, but nice. also pulling them <sighs> is, is a good From thing. the front, back, or side? Um, usually from the back. Yeah. <laughs> what a pleasure zone. Thanks, Erica. 
Hello, Hello, love. How are you? You seem fat and like all oh, perky and shit. Yeah. How do you feel about getting a pedicure? Kind of hard for me to sit in one place in so a chair. Knock and... that one off. Yeah, I gotta knock that one off. <laughs> are you in a relationship? Yes. Does your partner enjoy touching you in this area? Oh, he's very into it. Why? He's an engineer. He's um, just a very kind of detail-oriented uh -huh. person. He's kind of nerdy, so. Yeah. He's like, push yes. here, push here, done. Yes. Great. It's easy to touch someone's lower back, someone's upper spine, upper spine, Jesus. Brain is on here too, so I mean, I guess we could go that direction. If I was like, oh, I'm just not feeling it today, and you were like to reach out to me and comfort me, and you can touch me anywhere you want. Like, oh my where, God, where I totally go? go for like the, the shoulder rub here, yes. yes. Okay, and then if I were to give you this, <laughs> the Lilo dot. Yeah, I'd probably like still stimulate like right in here, you know? Like, okay, just... like lower back is just screaming to me. Yeah, that is not the right answer. I love it. I'm thinking um, wrist, to be honest. No. Damn, this is hard. I need some men in here. Second plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is it? So mine was brain. So, oh, yeah, okay. I need the mental stimulation. So I'm not someone who's just like automatically physically aroused. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to like be in a space where I feel very comfortable, like mm -hmm. just giving myself to someone. Yes. Yes. yes, I live for that. Maybe mine can be brain too now. Here we go, yes. Ah! We're brain <laughs> I'm putting a heart on this one, bitch. Don't you down there. This is my business. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. When you are like trying to get down with somebody else, mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Tattoos. Tattoos. Yeah. Do you have tattoos yourself? Yeah. <gasps> Do you like to be bitten in this area? Yeah. Can you be touched at a restaurant and no one would be like, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, have you ever done that? Yeah. Where, what restaurant? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Let's figure this shit out. So wait, with the Lilo, you can touch all your pleasure zones that you want. Sure. Wait, behind the ear? What if she queefs or <laughs> I like this toy. It has different settings, too. No. I like the one that goes like this. I'm gonna say maybe behind the ears. Maybe behind your ears? There's something about the way you lifted your hair. You really, like, have done that before? No. Amazing. <laughs> what a great day. Upper spine. Upper spine! <laughs> okay, that is so specific. Can you tell me more? Well, it's a continuation of the ears and the neck and the collarbone, you know? So I'm kind of but, right. Yeah. You take your Lilo dot and you just go like this? <laughs> <laughs> like oh, up and over? Yeah, all day. Yeah, right, same. <laughs> Thank you for telling me about your upper spine. Hello. Hi. I like your shoes. Thanks. And you have a pedicure, I see. I do. Your heels, very adventurous. Yeah. I support it. Thanks. Um, how do you feel about anal? <laughs> I mean, mostly I'm doing that to other people, but Yes, like... I love this. You're giving me Dom vibes. Yep. What do you do with your time? Um, I'm a dominatrix. Love so it. I'm... Are you local? I am. Do you take new clients? I do. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in your personal life, I assume that you take work home in a way that's more fun for you? My work life influences my personal life and vice versa. Yeah, I so. bet. I'm gonna use the stylus. Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Based on how cool your shoes are, maybe feet. Feet. Just by looking at you, I would say feet. That's rub my feet, man. Kind of vibes. Ah! I got one right, man. <laughs> Tell me more about that. I'm a foot guy myself. Yeah. No, I like feet. It started as like a professional thing. Sure. But like having your feet worshipped and massage feels fucking great. So good. So good. We have so, an anti-pleasure agenda in our American society we specifically. Do. And we there's do. something about foot worship that does feel like focused on mm -hmm. feeling good. It does. That's I true. love that. Thank you for chatting with me yeah, about your feet. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, last person. Hey cutie, how are you? You're so cute. I love your hair, damn. Where in public have you been touched in this pleasure zone? Restaurants. Interesting. Do friends touch this part of you? Um, I mean, yeah, occasionally. I mean, really? They touch? Okay. <laughs> Are you consenting to have your hand touched? I am. What about your wrist? Mm, I think you like this better than this. Out of all these, I'm like, you just seem like very, like, petite and chill. Wrist, out of all these, I think would be 
the moment. There's something very like modest about your wrist coverage right now. Are you like, oh my God, fuck up my wrists? Absolutely correct. <gasps> Oh, okay, can you tell me more about wrist play? Having a, a, an area where is it technically sexual become sexual was really interesting to me. And then I'm also more on the submissive side, so yeah. like cuffs. And sure, so like props around your wrists Absolutely. really work. What makes that your pleasure zone? I wasn't very sexual until recently, and so it was kind of an area where I could um, incorporate like non-sexual elements, but also like have that kind of still that vibe. Yeah, like, so, so sneaky yeah. little moments. Yeah. Ah, I like that. I feel like I've learned so much today. How cute is that? <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn about yourself today? Talking with all of you, I think it's really clear that like it's all different, it's all situational, and like we can know what we're into, but I think like finding good partners that respect us and listen to us and make us feel like taken care of helps us discover new zones as well. What advice do you have for people exploring their body? You have your partner lie down and you take turns touching them and they're kind of exploring their body with consent, obviously, and sort of figuring out where they like to be touched. Because that's generally a huge problem is people, one, don't know what they want or two, don't know how to ask for it. The Lilo Dot offers climaxing with unmatched precision and ease, thanks to its soft and bendable tip and revolutionary elliptical motion. The Dot follows an elliptical trajectory that allows constant and pleasant surprises by simply shifting the angle of the toy. The Lilo Dot uses new patented technology to allow a versatile approach to self-pleasure and transitioning from one orgasm into another as often as you wish. Click the link in the description to get a Lilo Dot. Guess what? Lilo is gonna let you take one home. Wow, thank you, Lilo Dot. And everyone else here gets a Lilo Dot. You get a sex toy, and you get a sex toy, and you get a sex toy, and you and you and you get a sex toy. <laughs>